Horror Stories in the Southern Chile The Chaco, a Southern Chilean legend unleashing mystery and suspense on Chiloé Island. In the deepest south of Chile lies the magical island of Chiloé, a place where mist intertwines among ancient forests, and the blue ocean merges with the horizon. It is here that the most chilling stories of the region are woven, where legends become whispers resonating among the locals. In this enchanted corner, a nightmare creature stands tall, known to the inhabitants, as the Traco. The legend of the Traco has been passed down from generation to generation, casting its shadow over the fearful hearts of the islanders. It is said that this being, small and grotesque in appearance, has the power to seduce women with its hypnotic gaze, and unleash forbidden passions within them. The Traco inhabits the dark forests of Chiloé, where it hides among the ancient trees and shadows, dance to the rhythm of the wind. Its diminutive figure, barely reaching 80 centimeters in height, contrasts with its penetrating gaze and deformed features. It has no feet, but moves with a strange grace, as if floating above the ground. The malevolent creature is clad in a dark suit and wears a hat made of coralito, a plant used for making brooms and baskets on the island. In its right hand, it carries a stone axe, which, though it may seem menacing, is used as a cane to not frighten its prey. It is said that the Traco lurks for young unmarried women who venture alone into the woods. Its influence is so powerful that with a mere breath, it plunges women into a deep sleep of love and passion, leaving them defenseless against its dark desires. When they awaken, they have no recollection of how they reached such a state and find themselves, with unexpected pregnancies, the origins of which are an enigma shrouded in the mist of mystery. The story of the Traco has sown fear and intrigue in the hearts of Chilawe's inhabitants. Whispers of encounters with the malevolent being spread through the villages, fueling the fire of the legend. Young girls are warned by their parents not to venture into the woods alone, for they know that the Traco lurks in the darkness, waiting for the opportune moment to seduce and enchant its victims. Now, amidst the mist that envelopes Chiloé and the echoes of the tales told, we delve into the story of Valentina, a brave young woman who will confront the sinister presence of the Traco and discover the limits of her own sanity in a struggle against the enigma and suspense that hide in the darkest corners of the enchanted island. The wind whispered through the trees of Chilawea's forest, creating an unsettling melody as Valentina cautiously walked through the thicket. Night descended upon her, engulfing her in a menacing darkness. Each step she took seemed to sink her deeper into the abyss of mystery. Suddenly, a chill ran down her spine, and the air grew thick and oppressive. A sepulchral silence filled the surroundings, as if the forest itself held its breath. Valentina felt the penetrating gaze of the Traco upon her, its hypnotic eyes piercing her soul. Who's there? She asked with a trembling voice, barely audible in the density of the forest. The Traco emerged from the shadows, its grotesque and deformed figure reflecting the darkness of its intentions. Its gaze, as deep as the abyss, was imbued with ancient and seductive evil. I am the Draco, the being that awakens the darkest desires and the most forbidden passions. It whispered in a sinister and seductive tone. I am the guardian of the secrets of the forest, the bearer of hidden sins. Valentina felt her heart pounding as she struggled to resist the hypnotic influence of the Traco. Her legs trembled, and her mind clouded with a mixture of fear and fascination. What do you want from me? Valentina stammered, fighting to maintain her sanity. The Traco approached slowly, its malevolent laughter filling the air. I want your soul, Valentina. I want to immerse you in an abyss of pleasure and pain, of desire and despair. I want you to serve me, to surrender to the darkness within you. 
Fear gripped Valentina, but so did a strange curiosity. The shadow of the Traco loomed over her, drawing her toward an abyss from which she knew there was no return. Questions arose in her mind, but the answers were as murky as the night itself. What is real and what is illusion? Valentina whispered, her voice trembling in the shadows. Is this the price I must pay for temptation? The Traco smiled maliciously, its sharp teeth glistening in the gloom. Reality and illusion intertwine in the eternal dance of mystery. Are you willing to venture into the abyss to forsake safety and plunge into forbidden ecstasy? Valentina wrestled with her desire to flee and the fatal attraction that pulled her toward the Traco. Voices multiplied in her head, filling her with questions and doubts. The shadows seemed to engulf her, enveloping her in a vortex of uncertainty and terror. No! Valentina whispered, struggling to find strength amid the darkness. I will not surrender to you, Traco. I will not allow you to drag me into the abyss of perdition. I prefer the light of truth, even if it is a terrifying truth. The Traco released a piercing laugh and vanished into the blackness of the forest, leaving behind an echo of malice and enigma. Valentina felt relieved, but she knew her battle against the Traco was far from over. The presence of the being would continue to haunt her in the darkest corners of her mind, casting unanswered questions. From that day on, Valentina lived with the shadow of the Traco ever present. Every whisper of the wind, Every movement in the darkness reminded her of the fragility of reality and the seduction of mystery. She constantly questioned whether the Traco was merely a legend or a dark entity lurking in the depths of her existence. The legend of the Traco continued to fuel the nightmares of those who ventured into Chilawea's forest's enigma and suspense shrouded each encounter with the accursed being leaving the brave questioning their own sanity and battling hidden temptations lurking deep within their beings. The Traco became the personification of evil, a warning to those who dared to defy the limits of reason and explore the dark recesses of human nature. And so, the tale of the Traco faded into the night's mist, lost whispers in the fog of legend. Only those willing to confront the mystery and challenge the limits of fear could unravel the darkest secrets of the Traco and discover if it was merely a myth or a real presence lurking in the shadows of darkness. Please support me. Give me like and subscribe.